Welcome back to Delta Rune. In the last part, things got real as we fell into a hole. I'm thinking that maybe I combined with the other guy, but I'm not entirely sure that's what happened. But it seems like we fell into something that's a lot like the underground. It's got a lot of caves and stuff and weird things going on. Like weird tennis balls wiggling around in the distance. Not sure what's up with that. I don't think I can run. Oh, I can. You can run in this game. If I hold shift, I go faster. So that's pretty cool. So you're allowed to run. Let's go check. Let's check this out. Nothing I can do with the eyes. It's too dark to see anything. So we're just going to keep walking. What's up in here? Nothing? All right. The running is pretty cool. It's going to really change up the meta. Woo. I am actually just so, so happy about this. This is very promising. It's too dark to see anything. How about this one? It's too dark to see anything. Okay, they're all saying the same thing. What's this guy? Is this a guy? I want to talk to him, but I don't think I can. We have an option of going right and down. Let's go down, because right always kind of feels like progress. Something's in here. There's something glowing inside. Take it? Yes. You got the glow shard. I thought for a second, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to fight something at some point, and I really hope it's like super cool Undertale combat. Or just its own kind. What's that? Ah! I just lost some HP. My heart has taken damage. Oh, am I dodging bullets in the real world now? That's kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting to be doing some... Some turn-based style combat. You bathe your body in light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. The pain you had melted away. HP fully restored. All right. Eye puzzle. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Okay. There we go. So if I do this one, this changes the two outside ones, and this changes the right one. Bam! All the eyes are closed. We can go across the little ga the, the glass stuff. I don't think I can see in any of these, so I'm not going to try... This one looks a little suspicious, though. Nope, it's just crying out blood. Alright. Let's do some combat. Okay. I hope that isn't me killing, because I'm not trying to kill. I'm just trying to learn. Maybe that's bad. I can't tell if it's something sleeping, or if it's just... Oh, there's a guy in here. Hey, hey back off. Come any closer, and I'll... No, they just look different, too. Chris? Phew. Hey. Don't scare me like that, dumb, dumb, dummy. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. I changed their voice a little bit. Um, where is here anyway? Uh, it doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. All right, let's go, Susie. Lead the way, Chris. I'm just gonna give them like a, like a slightly edgy voice. Oh my God! Never mind. You walk way too slow. I'm running. Man, they went way ahead of me. Come on. Where'd you go? I learned how to run, Susie. Hey, Chris, there's someone up there waving at us. Any idea who what they want? It's an onion man. Oh, no. They're attacking us. Run, Chris! Oh, no. Well, I, I got this. I've, play, I've played a fair share of Undertale in my days. I'm just dodging them by running. There's a there's a good pattern that you just must follow to not get hit, and it's called running fast. There we go. Chris, down here. Some guys attacking us, trying to kill me. Like the good old ah, the good old days, the good old Undertale days. When I I like how I'm technically doing like old Undertale combat, but it's difference because it's different but you can see the heart so it's kind of the same it's so weird because that's where your hitbox is i wasn't expecting that i wasn't expecting it all to be happening fluidly all right oh you're not dead sweet got any idea where the heck this place is me neither wonder if there's anyone in that building up there oh 
You got a question mark? It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. Dude, I'm so excited. It's locked. This is so cool. It's locked. It's locked. They're all locked. Everything's locked. Another, another save point, though. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessness into the sky. Endlessly. The power of this place shines within you. There's a lot of save points. Alright, looks like I'm going down to the castle. A castle? Why the heck is there a castle inside of a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please, come forward, both of you. I see the Delta rune on the ground. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day, two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Very well, then. We got a tale. An undertale. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope. It was a legend of light and darkness. I just realized there's also text on both sides. This is the legend of Delta Rune. Sounds good to me. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror, and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains. Ooh. And banish the angel's heaven. This is only then will balance be restored. And then the world saved from destruction. Today, the fountain of darkness. The geyser that gives this land form. Stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. I wonder what the other fountain's doing. And with it, the balance of light and darkness begins to shift. Uh-oh. We gotta watch out for that. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please... Won't you accept your destiny? Uh, nah. Wh what? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But, Susie, without you, the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my dang business. Might even ki be kind of fun, honestly. Ugh. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait. Oh no. That was, that was dramatic. Ooh. Um. Ho, ho, ho. The heroes are already running away, and they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the heck are you? I'm... The bad guy. You clowns want to seal our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh. Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. And it's your only way home. 
But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step two, two plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Huh, nice plan, kid. Really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Oh, we got some, we got some combat. Oh my goodness, Lancer busts in. Oh wait, can I do like, can I do like, is it Undertale? Do I not attack? Am I supposed to attack? I, I, I don't know. Lancer, uh, compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Oh, you make my feelings do wheelies. Oh my gosh, I don't feel combat! Uh, don't know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so, ah! All right, uh, I don't know how I got an uh, act. Lancer, and to the, to the, the compliment. You try to compliment Lancer again, but he sees it as insincere. His attack power goes back up. Did you not realize I can mask my self-esteem levels? Ow. Ooh. Lancer's riding it out. I don't, I don't know. Let's try this again. Warning. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. Oh. So what are you guys doing after this? So am I trying to protect him from Susie's, like, violence? Lancer switches gears randomly to appear competent. Alright. Lancer? Um... Warning. Lancer laughs at the idea he would need your help. Okay. Ho ho ho! I'm the bad guy! I know I'm not being very constant, am I? Oh no, I got hit that time. Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. All right, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time, the losers will be you. Ha ha ha, bye losers. I gotta get home before dinner. You won, you got zero XP and $38. I didn't attack. Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am. Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Uh, all right. Interesting. Hello, everyone. I'm Ralse. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain. I'm so glad that voice is kind of fitting with what I gave him. I'm certainly. I'm certain we're going to become great friends, and best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us then? Chris, I am a prince, but I um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here uh, my whole life for, your, for you two to arrive, so I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can become good friends, Chris. Cool. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't give Susie such a deep manly voice. You lead the way, Chris. All right, let's go. This is so cool. Like, I am, I'm just absolutely like flabbergasted. All right. Ralse, the Lonely Prince is now your ally. The power of Fluffy Boys shines within you. Ah, this is so cool. All right, I'm gonna stop here, so I'll see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching. This is amazing. Bye.